Welcome, Genius Pie Trap here, and I am making a video, um, my very first Minecraft video, I guess, on patterns. I get uh, people asking me how I make patterns so fast, how I make them come out perfect, and to be honest, I plan them out with Microsoft Excel. And you know, I don't. If you uh, if you're like me, I'm pretty OCD when it comes to building stuff in Minecraft. I like to make it uh, all be planned out perfectly, all be symmetrical. And the way I do that is I first quickly plan it out in Microsoft Excel. You know, even we'll take a look at them down here. These uh, waterfalls. This is uh, just a world I started here. My new fortress, I guess, that I've been working on. And even these waterfalls, you know, if you try to build something like this, you're going to have a hard time planning it all out so it all comes out even and looking correctly. What I do first is quickly map it out in Excel. This is Excel 2013. If you have an older version of Excel, it should work the same. And even if you don't have Excel, just go to your department store or where have you and get pick up some grid paper and color pencils. And you can kind of do the same thing. Excel is going to be much easier if it's available to you. Anyway, I just start out clicking on a blank workbook. And the first thing to do is, in Minecraft, you're working with perfect squares. Here we got rectangles. So what we want to do is make these rectangles into squares. Easy way to do that is click in the upper left hand corner, select your whole worksheet here, and you want to move the cursor, get a better look at it here, you want to get your move your cursor between like here for example the A and B, so it switches like that, and you click on it, and you can see it gives a width, and what you want to look at is the pixels. So let's change these pixels to 50 here. And I'm just uh, holding and dragging. And the same thing horizontally. You want to go between the 1 and the 2. And switch that to 50 as well. And you can just click on it. Uh, there we go. We have a workbook with squares. Just like Minecraft. So next what I do is I like to print these off. So and look at them while I'm working on them. So I like to start with numbers. So I'll put a 1, oops, a 2, and if we select both of these and move to the bottom right corner, we can drag it down. And I guess the first thing to know is how big of an area you're working with. So say we're going to do a ceiling, and the ceiling is 21 blocks by 21 blocks. Okay, and we go down to 21, and it automatically fills in here. Same thing with here. Tip 2 here. Select both squares. And drag to 21. Voila! Simple as that. And then I select this whole pattern, I get whole pattern. Like so. And I go under the home tab, the borders, click down, all borders. So there we have a this is what would be our blank template, I guess, of our Minecraft ceiling. And next, I guess, would be to select the whole thing again and decide what your base color would be. What I guess, what's going to be the background color of the whole um, ceiling. So, you know, here we go to our paint can again in our whole can tab and Let's uh, just make it gray. We're going to make it uh, the stone bricks. I like to work with the stone bricks a lot. And here we have stone bricks. And from here, I just start making my pattern. Um, let's say I have a bunch of blue wool. Kind of looks like the blue, dark blue wool. Let's go with. And I want to do something like this. Um, let's make... Uh, Oh, I don't know here. Some squares. Like so. Come back like this. And, you know, to uh, make it... Now, what's great about Excel 
is uh, you can copy and paste this stuff. So we got it like so. I can do Control C. I'm going to move it down one here. Control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. And then I can uh, select this whole thing again here. Control C. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here, 12, is that right? Yes, there we go. And here would be my pattern, I guess. You know, pretty simple. I didn't put much thought into it. Um, and you can kind of add and, you know, mess around. What, Like, say, for example, I wanted to know what this would look like with uh, yellow in the center. I could just simply go like this and click them yellow. Or if I wanted to see what it might look like with orange. And, you know, there's a lot of different patterns and stuff you can make. And I guess that's how I do it. Now, I, I like to print this off. I like to look at the ceiling. I start out with a blank template. I'll lay them all gray. And just go to work. I, I'll count over one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And just lay blue all the way down. Again, why did that? Oh, I see it uh, did this, so th this actually changed here. We'll fix this here. When I copied and pasted it, there we go. Messing up with this a little bit here. I'll fix that, no problem. There we go. And, you know, I just uh, basically count, you know, use this as a reference to count and how I want to to uh, lay my patterns down. And I'm kind of liking that yellow. The yellow and blue looks good, I think. And, you know, this could be yellow, or maybe that would be glowstone. I like to look up glowstone. Or what have you. And, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, I encourage you to, to come up with your own patterns and do things like uh, maybe write words or come up with creatures or just uh, patterns. The, the patterns are so much more interesting to look at than your walls of nothingness of the same thing over and over and over. And it's a good way to uh, impress people that uh, visit your Minecraft server. Hope you enjoyed watching. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Like, subscribe, do all that. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.